hello good afternoon Patrick back again digging out the red one the 65 I have got to get back to work on this thing <laughs> anyways this is a 1965 it's my current project what I'm working on right now I've been kind of stalling because I hadn't installed an oil pressure gauge and I put a new oil pump in it so I don't really know and I kind of had decided what to do with this dash because of the big old hole well what I, what I decided is I'm gonna buy a bead roller <laughs> so I'm ordering a bead roller should be coming in by next week so that'd be kind of fun but I want to make a new panel for that whole cut out there before the guy had a this funky looking piece of metal in there it was on there and it had the three gauges in it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new piece that's gonna cover the ashtray and fill that in and I'm gonna bead roll it like the original factory would have kind of looked when with the gauges so and I got the seat in it and this is the style of seat I'm gonna run I still have to make a seat for the passenger side got to make the bracket and mount it getting close I just gotta finish up here I gotta put the transmission hump on but I've been waiting a little bit I gotta finish the wiring. I gotta finish the turn signal switch and the brake light switch. Yeah. And I gotta put in the windshield. I got the glass here ready to go. That won't be too tough. You can kind of see the uh, crossbar there that I did to mount the four point restraints on for the kind of more racing style bucket, if you will. And this is set up like the factory would have been. You just unclamp it and then the seat. Get back here where it leans forward. And then this comes up. Well, it does. It just, that's not coming very good. But anyway, you can see the four point restraints there. It's, this one has a V8. Can't see what I'm doing here. I got the sun. That's a you can see the gearbox and transfer case. It's got a 75 four speed gearbox mounted to a 72 transfer case. What that does is you get an extra low, low, and then because you have the lower low in the four speed than you did in the three speed, so then you put that with the three speed transfer case. Much better. Got to finish the steering wheel. Kind of see what she looks like there. It's getting it back together. I gotta work on this thing, finish it, get it done. I'll show you under the hood. This has got a little Chevy 350. Got over the fender headers. Kind of loud, but not really. <laughs> Put in an aluminum radiator. It's just a stock 350. It's got better exhaust, of course, and better intake and carb. I put in the uh, brakes recently. They're four wheel disc power. A lot better than it would have been in 65 with the F4 drum with no power booster. Very put a lot of work into doing the bodywork and stuff and painting it. And you can see the exhaust there. I moved the battery up on the firewall because I took the vintage air. Well, I, the vintage air took it out. Now I took out the factory heater box and everything and that stuff's kind of a mess. What I'm going to do is put a vintage air heater defroster unit. If you look at that silver one on the older videos, it's it's got it, but I'll, you know, I'll be showing you that real soon how to do it. But anyway, that gets the battery up out of the way better. Cleaner. Running a 150 amp one wire power master alternator electric fan just stuff to make it more modern and more kind of user-friendly 
powerful, fun. It's you know, with this V8 and that transfer case, it's gonna be a rip snorting little hot rod. <laughs> anyway, I'll close the hood back here. You can see it's still got the spear, the split hood. It's got those wind, windshield rests, bumpers out of India. Pretty good deal on those things. They don't look too bad. I think I can live with them. I'm gonna stay with smaller tires. I like the 31s um, because of the gear ratio. I'm kind of building it for Pismo. That's why I'm gonna keep it stock height and not lower it. And then run the smaller tires to get better use out of the gear ratio. Because in the sand, it's all about tire speed. And, you know, it's got the lower low, and it's what I call Project Spare Parts, because I've been kind of saving this stuff up and <laughs> putting together parts for a couple years, the last couple, three builds, and four builds, maybe, and collecting, you know. I actually picked this up over in San Luis Obispo for about 1800 bucks. <laughs> and a whole, whole bunch of parts with it. That bumper's not going to stay on, and it's gonna get power steering. So it's got a little bit to finish it here, not much, but I gotta get it done and get it on the run. Get it on the move. Cause I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hand at a street truck. That's a little 68 GMC short wide box. I'm gonna put an LS in it. I've already got a no limit engineering full suspension for it going to be a full, full pro tour Ford nine inch full floating rear LS it's going to be a hot rod as well 